Hello, welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, this is only the... Is it only the second? No, it's the third video I've done here, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I've been doing the driving school challenges and I've tried a couple of online races, but I'll do a third one today. Uh, one that I haven't done before, so... I have a few new cars, which I've won. Mostly from the driving school, which I've completed 50% of, all to gold level, so I've done all the beginners to gold. She got me a Golf, a uh, Toyota something or other, and a Lexus, which are quite nice actually. We have a quick look. This is a GR4 or GT4 car that I've bought for some online races. The first race you only need you can use an Audi TT rental and then the second race you need a GR4 or GT4 class car. Well no, there's a GT3 race available as well but I thought I'd start with GT4. So yeah I got that Lexus, that Toyota and this Golf from the driving school so far. It does a sort of random spinner so I don't know if everybody gets the same car or not, I don't think so. Anyway if we go on Sport little load sometimes it doesn't oh they've, they've changed actually there is no gr4 one available they changed daily i forgot they did that anyway we'll have a go at one of those and then there's these timed ones but i've not got into any of that yet one make one make and gr3 i don't have a gr3 car so i'm gonna have to go on a one make tt I have driven the TT, so... And that speedway looks pretty boring, actually, so let's... Let's give this a go. I don't know Dragon Trail Seaside track. I'm gonna have to go for it in black. I know it looks good with the BMW livery, but... The black just looks amazing. So I've had a quick go on livery editor with the Aston Martin that I bought for GR4, but... There's no GR4 race available now, so I can't show you that. Well, I can show you that, but... I'll show you when I'm doing a proper GR4 race. But yeah, hopefully the second half of the driving school isn't any harder than the first half. I mean, it'll be, it'll be a bit harder, but hopefully I can get gold on all of that as well. But yeah, a couple of one make races I did the other day in an Audi TT. At, I can't remember what track it was yesterday, but I was quite far ahead of the rest of the cars. In there. Too high. Let's put it on one to start with. And start. Let's try and learn this track. Why am I on this weird camera view? Oh, there's no interior or vision cards. That's why the traction control is really high over now. What's the closest camera we've got to interior? Look at that. That's rather irritating. All I want is an interior cam, not that hard. Brakes are good. Whoa, a bit of a slide there. This is the first time I've driven this car or this track. that were available yesterday were still there, they were better. The GR4 race was in Tomagos, which I just learned. So I thought I had a chance there, but unfortunately the server kept cutting out. So I couldn't get to race there. I didn't think I'd do that today. that one a little bit.
lot to qualify for the race because well, they were chasing everyone on the control of batteries. Swap that over in a minute before the race starts. Uh, I do like this car, it's a shame when I see the interior. Oh, I always forget, you don't, the, the brake, the gear change warning indicator comes up before that corner. You don't have to brake until that corner. Not that late, that was a bad time. I should change this controller before the race starts. Turn off device, there we go. Might get this controller here. We've got 44 seconds till race start until match. Let's just put traction off a little bit. Whoa! Got a little bit of a slide around all the way. random when it grips and when it lets go. does look good though. Let's put that back on too. Put ourselves back on. Almost into it. Am I going the right way? Yeah. All that spinning on the us going the wrong way. Uploading my lap time, I assume. Yeah, there is a little feature about driving etiquette that you have to watch before you can race, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference for people. I had somebody that kept brake checking me in an Audi TT race, but then he got a penalty and I took him just before the line, so that was alright, but he was trying to block me and brake check me and all sorts, and then I kept getting my sportsmanship rating knocked down for hitting the back of them. But yeah, another race where I was out ahead for most of it. What just happened? I thought I was in a race. What? It does this. I've got to wait two minutes thirty for that. I could show you the Aston. I'll show the Aston Martin that I've been. View car. Does it let me choose which car to view? Ah, oh, there we go. So this is the Aston Martin that I've been working on the livery editor for. So I've put that sort of grill mouthpiece around it and sponsors and things. Just a quick sort of play around with the livery editor but I think it looks pretty good for a first try anyway. Oh yeah. Is it going to show up? There we go. Don't quite know what it's doing in a car park, but anyway. <laughs> Hopefully that race will be ready now. Well, not ready. But I'll be allowed to enter. 15 seconds. Hopefully after I've done some qualifying times, it'll actually let me into the race this time. Don't know why it did that. Three, two, one, enter. Unfortunately, I've got 15 minutes until it starts now. Oh well, I should have time to set a good qualifying lap in that time. But if it throws me out again, I'm going to be so annoyed. It 
does look so good in black, this car. I know, like I was saying earlier, the BMW Motorsport colours are nice, but the black's just so good on this car. Looks like a real Batmobile. Kind of appropriate as the original... Well, the kind of car it's inspired by is the original Batmobile. The only Batmobile racing car. Yeah, it's nice traction control on three again. But generally I avoid Vision GT cars just because they don't have interiors. Well, partly because they don't have interiors and partly because they just some of them are just stupid and fast. Right, I'm going to end up knowing this track well, even if online does refuse to work. Here we go. I really hope it works. So it managed to upload my time, didn't it, last time? Yeah, like that, upload complete. And then it showed me the, the qualifying times. Actually, I might be slightly higher up the grid this time, because I qualified a bit better. Uh, 8 out of 16, exactly halfway down the field. Not too bad, but I really do hope it works. It does say joining session, so hopefully... It's good. There's only one... British guy ahead of me. Maybe he should be my aim. But he is up in second, so I'm likely to catch him, aren't I? Oh! What? You s Really? did actually have traction control on two last time, but it might be faster than on one.
fourth time lucky, or first time since I've restarted it, so hopefully that worked. Oh, it puts my 142 time and I only set a 143 this time. Apparently it uses your best time ever, which is kind of helpful, especially as I didn't do too well that time. That's loading track this time, I don't think it got that far last time. Waiting for players to finish, I think. Don't want to say it too soon in case it doesn't work, but I think this might be it. Please? Could it be? Could it actually work this time? I can hear a crowd cheering. Yes! We're finally into an actual race. Right! Oh, that's so... I'm so pleased. This isn't actually a race, by the way. You probably know that, it's quite obvious. But one minute ten until the race. be interesting I've only ever raced a front wheel drive I assume this is rear wheel drive like the pretty sure it is I've only raced a front wheel drive TT TT's front wheel drive might be four wheel drive but I think it's front wheel drive anyway starting second we've qualified more than second faster than third not that much slower than first oh yeah it does it does a rolling start not driving yet. That says auto drive on the screen when that goes away. I'm not going to worry. It always starts you right at the top of the gear, so you have to shift up instantly. Disadvantages those of us using manual gearbox. Hold it. Messed up. Whoa! They have a sportsmanship rating, but mine, that orange SR on top of the screen means mine's being reduced, but I'm being hit from all angles, this is not my fault. I know I'm faster than most of these people around here, it's just, they're constantly bumping into me. Whoa! Being shoved from behind again. Why does my sportsmanship rating reduce? That wasn't good. That was entirely my fault, that crash. Completely took me out. So much for a sportsmanship rating. It's a 
surprised I'm not last, but with that amount of crashing, somebody else will go off soon. And I can gain some of these places back, but people really are terrible drivers. I'm really annoyed with them, they ruin your whole race. Especially when you have to watch a sportsmanship etiquette video before you can go on that. They'll probably all just go and do something else with the videos playing so they don't have to watch it. Or they watch it and they go, oh, yeah, green, there we go, my sportsmanship rating's gone up again. It does that. Well, if you go a certain distance without hitting it, it is. Take me, but I've taken him back again. Yellow flag overtaken is prohibited. Don't think I overtook apart from the people at the crash. Oh dear. Sorry, sorry. I'll let you back through again. Whoa! He just shoved me into the back of that other car, so my fault. Anyway, we are 11 out of 15. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit him then, but because he was going slowly, he was still a... Again, it's that corner where you have to stop. Yeah, I hope he got a penalty. Well, at least for people that can't drive, they do things like that and you suddenly make up a few positions. Didn't mean to scrape that barrier. And off he goes. Back up to 11th again. Well, at least my race hasn't been entirely ruined by anybody yet. I mean, I should still be in second if it wasn't for the that was a bit of a bending the rules of track limits there. Well, if he's off the track, that doesn't really count as overtaking. He went off into a barrier. I'm not going to stop so that I don't get past him. Too far behind to be an issue. He might still be able to get me into the sharp corner at the end of here, which would be unfortunate. Oh, we were taking this prohibited. Go back past the way. And into seventh. Oh, flying up the field now. One more lap. Would it? Not great through there, but the guy behind me went off into a barrier, so we're all right. 32 seconds behind the leader, though. We shouldn't be that far behind him. With my qualifying time, I really shouldn't be that far behind. I was in quite a lot of accidents. Well, they weren't accidents, because people were crashing into me on purpose. We were in quite a lot of incidents, let's call them. If I'm lucky, I might be able to get these guys before the end. Especially 
through the way they're taking these corners, aren't they? Yes. Oh, what penalty? I only really cut the track there so that I didn't hit either of them. There's so no other drivers were using. pressure him into crashing. There we go, I didn't get a sportsmanship we just straight on that. Thank you. Oh dear, he pushed me there. Oh, it's the white one. The black guy was, the black car was, was doing, was racing quite nicely. It was that white car that came and shoved me. I'm not slowing down for a penalty for somebody hitting me in the back. Oh, so I finished with a two second penalty. Really? Seriously? See, that's the problem with penalties and sportsmanship ratings. Is the game is still not very good at knowing who's at fault. There were only a couple of bumps that were my fault in that race. And neither of them got me a penalty. Oh well. 7 out of 15. It's better than better than mid mid of the field. But considering I qualified second, that's kind of irritating. Especially as most of it was down to other people's bad driving. I don't know why my BMW is number two, or if it's just because it's two in that race, or what. Anyway. As long as I'm still beaten. What? My sportsmanship rating's gone down to C. That's kind of annoying. It's impossible to get your sportsmanship rating up if people are constantly hitting you. Or break checking you. Anyway, finally got into an online race. That was the first proper online race. It went okay. Apart from some people that still can't drive. I've shown you the, the car that first car that I've done with livery editor properly. And yeah, I've got to do the interme intermediate driving tests next. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like, comment and subscribe if you have. Anyway, I'll be back for more Gran Turismo Sport in the next video.